What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have yet another unboxing box number seven. Let's go. Take a quick peek at how it looks here. Nice. So we're always don't forget about the ruler and the social media tags. First up we got Nice from Catch Outdoors Mach K Popper 70. Look at this bad boy. Two and a half inches, 0.35 ounces, and the color is black bone. Very, very nice. Next up we have some EWG hooks from Stickies. Three odd, and there's a the three pack. I've never used these hooks, but I've heard a lot of great things about them. But definitely interested in adding some to my arsenal. Can never have too much terminal tackle. What is this? Freedom Tackle Corp. Mischief Middle. Clacking Top Water. Look at this bad boy. I think you see my old reflection in here. All right, let's go. Gamagatsu Magic Eye Troubles. Mock Custom Shape Blade. Let's see, I'll hold it this way and I'll read the box. Chartreuse in Pearl is the color. The part number is 45103. It is three and a half inches. Is it telling me anything else? Nope. It looks pretty interesting though. I don't know if this is like a, it's got like a snap, like a quick release snap up here too. It's got a treble hook here, treble hook in the back, but it's got like this blade in the middle. Very, very interesting. Very cool. I've only seen a couple of these. I know that like, I think Jackal makes something like this and I think Yozuri does too, like a lot of J JDM lures, they do something like this. Very, very unique. Oh, Bass Reaper. Nice. This company is actually, I believe they're out of Wisconsin, if I'm not mistaken. Icicle Drop Shot. I think the color is called Dirt Nap. It is a 10 pack. So look at the package, very nice. Look at the drop shot worm right here from the back. It's got a little diamond tail there. Looks like it's two different colors. Like kind of like a blackish color and a brown. Very, very cool. Next up we have Joko. Shaker, super floating, scent and taste inside formula, design of Japan, so it's a Japanese design, three and a half inches, four piece. Oh, it's my Lucky John. That's very cool. Three and a half inches, huh? Very, very cool. What is the color on this? Real fish action, it does not say, but definitely... Lucky John on their website up here in the corner. Right there. Let's zoom in on that. There you go. And then on the back too, jig head, double hook, or Carolina rig. Very cool. I like a lot of their stuff. It's just I feel like their website's not super easy to navigate. And every time you go on their website, it's like you try to add something to your cart. It tells you to go look for a dealer. And then it's hard to get to that dealer as well. So, But very, very cool. Looks very realistic. But it's very similar to a lot of the other plastic swim baits that are already on the market as well. Next up, we got... All right, another jig. Nice. From Phoenix Baits. Has a mustad hook, three eighths of an ounce, Elite Series Arky Jig. Right there, and the color is called peanut butter and jelly. 
Very cool. Looks like it's almost like a football jig style. Oh, they have the weight. It's like engraved into the head. See the three? And then the eight. Three eights. Very cool. Very, very cool. Very unique. There's also a bait keeper system on there as well. See the multiple ridge right there? Very cool. Peanut butter and jelly. And then what else do we have? All right, a Takata frog by 10,000 fish. Two and a half inches and five eighths of an ounce. The color is called Rising Sun. Very interesting. What is it? External walking weight. So I don't know if you guys, if any anglers out there have, obviously these things are, I think they just came out last year, if I'm not mistaken, or the beginning of this year. But these things are relatively new. But there is some videos on YouTube of other anglers um, fishing with these. And obviously it's on Chop Carls as well. But these frogs definitely look very cool. And they look very sleek, especially on top. It's hard to see with all the glare. But it's got like a... Uh oh, right here. It almost looks like it's like ribbed or scaled. And it's supposed to make, you know, like the brush kind of just go over where the hook sits. Very cool. And look at the, the skirt or the legs on these. Shiny, that shiny red. Very, very cool. Side shot. It's not very all that great. But from the top as well. Like where the hook is, it's got that area specifically molded the top as well. And apparently it's got like a special weight at the bottom as well. I like it. I like it. And then Reaction Strike XRM80MD. I like the color pattern, look at the bill on that, the lip on that, pretty big. Let's see what this one says, XRM80MD, so it's 3.2 inches, we'll get it out of the reflection here, 3.2 inches, 0.65 ounces, dives, 5, 3 to 5 feet. Very, very cool. So, are naturally buoyant and suspend when not in motion. Awesome. And the color is called Ghost Threadfin Shad. Very neat. I've never heard of this lure company. Very, very cool. Get one more close-up shot of this bad boy. And then always, always, you get this. Bass, uh, you get this elite card. It tells you what's all in your box and how much everything is. And then obviously there's social media stuff. And then there's always, you know, a QR code on the back as well. So it kind of gives you more uh, tips and tricks on your lures. There is a card in here. Tell you all about the tataki frog. So here's the front. Gives you some more explanation. And then the back as well. So this talks about the weight. This talks about the body of the frog. What is this? Oh, and more about the design of the frog as well. And always a sticker. Look at that. And then always, always literature. So... Obviously more bass fishing, more about the frog. More bass fishing as well. Panfish and trout. There's some Ask Carl questions to teach you how to tie a polymer or not. Number two. Oh, and then talk about drop shot as well. Walleye fishing as well. 
more walleye stuff, always universal fishing tips. How to fish an Arky jig. Oh, that's cool. Very, very cool. We just got one in our box too. And obviously, they talk about the gear, which I actually got this Huck um, performance hoodie from Shop Carls for 36 bucks, which is totally worth it. Now, I, I like the hoodie as well, because just in case for some reason, if I forget my gator, or sometimes like when you're wearing a gator and a long sleeve, it comes up. The gator just tends to come up, obviously, just from moving. So sometimes my neck starts to burn and I can feel it, but definitely having this hoodie here and always just putting the hoodie on definitely saves my neck, my neck from time to time. And it talks about conservation, conservation as well, keeping your waterways clean, uh, how to be careful when fishing deep, and salt water stuff, which I don't do any of it, but it's very, very cool to see all this stuff. And then obviously, Shop Carl's Bingo. But again, like I said, every single box is always phenomenal because it gets you to think outside the box generally of what you would normally throw. And obviously, you can only take so many um, lures and techniques with you. But sometimes, you know, if you have the time and the availability to go out there and just try a new technique, try a different lure and just try to see, you know, what your thought process is and then definitely reading the book as well to try to get what other people, other anglers are doing too, especially from professionals. But that is all we have for today. Until next time, peace.